Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. So, I know it's been a while, but there's really not a lot of stuff going on right now, aside from the, uh, the home stretch update actually being released. So, we have the Shared Worlds, we have the Pet Nat, we have the Cooker. We've covered all that in previous videos. Go ahead and check them out uh, if you're looking for that information. But for this, because we are getting to that home stretch, I wanted to kind of just do a quick rundown of the stuff that I use uh, every day. Basically, every time I leave the base, I make sure I have this in my inventory. Now, it has changed slightly over the time of uh, playing this game. Uh, especially due to the inventory slots that we have we don't have a lot I think we have 30 total if you get a pet and you're able to use that then you'll get that extra 10 slots However, the pet inventory is not 100% reliable if the pet dies if it desyncs if it falls through the map All those kind of things can uh, can make you lose stuff in your pet inventory So these are 10 things that I never leave home without so let's go ahead and jump right into it number 10 is gonna be food so I would have said uh, this was going to be roast or um, jerky, but after covering the, uh, I've done uh, videos of what um, he, uh, heals the best, and I've done videos of the things that provide you the best meals or the uh, the best hunger uh, counter activity. So obviously meals are going to be your best thing. Um, it's not really prudent to carry those around unless you're going to a specific area, say the sandbox, the hay, uh, the haze or uh, the broodmother or fight an infected wolf spider or go termite den when you're going into a certain area like that it is pretty smart to make sure that you do have a meal on you whether it uh, <clears throat> be the black ox burger or something like that something that's going to benefit you because one your hunger is going to go down slower and also it's going to uh, provide you some of the bonuses the buffs to help you figure that stuff out so for my food of choice now um, it's just going to be mushrooms right they can be found everywhere you can uh, stack up to 14 of them depending on your milk molar setup and they don't provide a ton of food but when you're out there you can always pick these up um, especially if you're going into like the black ant hill or something like that and you need some food snag a bunch of mushrooms bring them with you they'll heal up probably about 14 i think will cover it'll definitely heal you up 100 uh, percent of your health so that's one of the things that i carry around like i said mushrooms are found everywhere used to be acorns acorns would uh, fill you up quite a bit but uh, they have limited the number of acorn bits that drop from acorns now the mushrooms is my go-to little snack here um so that's number 10. Number nine is gonna be water. Obviously we have food, we need water, right? So I have the charcoal canteen here. Um, it does, just because it provides six drops. Now, one of the things with this is you don't necessarily need to carry this uh, because there's water everywhere. Depending on where you're going in the backyard, you're gonna be able to find water droplets pretty much everywhere. But if you are going into one of those dungeons or something like that, especially the, the hedge lab early on or the termite den or especially the sandbox where your thirst is going to decrease a lot quicker because you do get that debuff of uh, sweat, definitely uh, helpful to carry a char uh, charcoal canteen if you can. Regular canteen works just fine. Charcoal canteen is going to give you that six, uh, six drop space. So highly recommend this. I carry this everywhere I go. It's super easy. That way I don't have to go looking for water. I could just pop my canteen and then keep going. Number eight, and we covered this in my last video, talking about the uh, the best healing options. Number eight is going to be that, my healing. It's going to be the sticky slop here. Obviously, because like I said in that video, go check it out. It provides an instant heal and it regenerates for four minutes. Because it's the sticky slop, it increases that, uh, that regeneration time up to four minutes. So... These are useful everywhere you go. If you don't have these early on, just go with the regular sticky or the regular questionable slop, and that's going to give you a nice health bonus. And uh, it's only going to cost you whatever garbage resources you have. One of the things with the game right now is that you get a ton of resources that you don't actually use, especially if you're late in the game. You have uh, chesticles full of, uh, in, of stuff in your inventory that, or in your chest that you don't actually use. So you can throw anything in there, make yourself some questionable slop smoothies. Definitely uh, the best thing, uh, best option going forward is going to be the sticky slop. So get yourself some of those and you won't have to worry about uh, healing any further. Uh, number seven, we're going to jump into our tools here. It's going to be the termite axe. Now, obviously, this is all late in the game, so I have all the, the top tier gear. Uh, but the termite axe right now, mainly because if you're out there doing stuff, you need to chop stuff, uh, whether it be the pupa leather or the pupa hides, rather, um, anything like that, berries and stuff that you need to chop, you're going to need a, at least a tier two, I believe. And tier three doesn't hurt to have it if you can get it. So use that just for chopping when you need to. Um, next one, number six, is going to be our black ox hammer. Obviously, right now, this isn't used for a lot of stuff. It is used for the uh, the nuggets, the new style rocks and the fashion nuggets. So you'll need this to crack those open. And obviously, whatever comes out in 1.0, we're definitely going to need this to be breaking up that uh, later in-game content. So get yourself one of these. That also works. I went salty with mine because I used this on the black ox beetles themselves because it does do a lot of damage to them and it's uh, busting. So a definite bonus right there. And then uh, next one is going to be the black ant shovel. 
You use this anytime I'm around trying to find that gum for my sticky slop, I use the black ant shovel. Uh, this to dig up the treasures in the upper yard if I'm over in the sand sandbox, you use it to dig up the treasures over there. And all your candies and everything that you find, you're definitely going to want your shovel so you can uh, go ahead and maximize all those resources that are useful for you so you can bring them back to your base. Number four, we're going to jump over to the charcoal canteen, the ever charcoal tea, ever charcoal torch rather, not canteen, charcoal torch, what I call it. Mainly because this thing, and I don't know if it's intended to or not, uh, it works underwater. So if I need to go jump over to the pond to get mussel sprouts or get some resources down there, I don't have to worry about going and getting a different torch. I can just carry this one with me because it works above land and it works underwater. And uh, the fact that it lasts longer, it shines brighter, this is my go-to torch. Um, I don't do a lot of sleeping. I always get caught uh, at night, you know, being out in the yard doing stuff because... A lot of the times, that's when you can get some of your good stuff, uh, your fireflies. Um, that's when the wolf spiders mainly come out, although they do run around during the day as well. But you use your ever char, cult, uh, ever char torch for night and uh, obviously for underwater purposes as well. Number three, we're getting into the weapons now, is going to be the mint mace. And then uh, I'll go ahead and ju jump into number two and three at the same time, the spicy coltana. Now I use these mainly... Um, Mainly because these are what the insects are most weak to. A lot of the insects that you're going to run across are going to be weak to either um, mint dam fresh damage or spicy damage. We can go ahead and take a look here. Obviously, your ants are going to be weak to spicy. Your ladybug is weak to fresh. Uh, bee is weak to fresh. Firefly weak to stabbing. We'll cover that in a second. Uh, sickly roly poly weak to spicy. Roly poly weak to spicy. You kind of get the idea. And then anytime you're over by the haze lab, um, things are going to be uh, weak to fresh, all your infected uh, insects that are running around, um, your stink bugs, your bombardier beetles, black ox beetle. I covered that with my uh, salty black ox hammer, the ladybirds, uh, green shield bug. The majority of the insects right now, aside from the termites and a few other ones, are going to be weak to either spicy or fresh. So that's why I carry the spicy coltana around and then the, uh, the mint mace as well. These are probably the best two weapons. Uh, that I use right now. Um, even if I come across an infected wolf spider, I'll use the mint mace. Uh, wolf spiders and every other spider, ants and stuff like that, use the uh, the coltana. So those are really my two go-to weapons. And then obviously the uh, the ultimate weapon here is going to be the crow crossbow. <clears throat> Not only because you can use this once you uh, unlock it to cheese a ton of the insects, even though you're not supposed to be, you can still jump up onto a rock and uh, annihilate some insects with these. Obviously, you're going to need arrows for your bow. I use the splinter arrows just because they do a little bit more damage than the feather arrows. The feather arrows do provide that bleed effect, but the bleed effect and the debuffs that happen with insects doesn't really help that much. I'd rather just have a stronger arrow um, to do the damage. So the crow crossbow, obviously, with everything going right now, um, you can still cheese a lot of the insects even in the upper yard. It works super well against termites and ants because they're weak to that stabbing, which is what the, uh, the arrows cause that kind of damage. So... These are my go-to uh, tools that are going to be in my inventory. Obviously, I do have my pet over here in Worcestershire for all my garbage resources. Just in case he dies or something like that happens, then I don't have to worry about losing that stuff. But my main stuff is going to be right here. And you can see my hot bar, how I got it set up down here. So I believe that is all we've got for my top 10 things that I never leave home without. Now, a lot of this, uh, when you're restarting or if you are just now starting... You're going to have your own items and weapons and everything, depending on the area you go into. Um, obviously, in the pond, if you're going in there when you're first for your first time, you're going to have a different set of items. Um, if you're going to the sandbox, obviously, you're going to have a different set of items and stuff like that. But when I'm just running around the yard, whether it's doing quests or uh, gathering resources and stuff or hunting for gold cards, which seems to be all I'm doing now, this is basically my setup right here. I do carry smoothies as well, uh, fuzz on the rocks, liquid rage, and human food, depending on what I'm going to do. So if I'm going to fight the broodmother, I may bring a black ox burger and my uh, smoothies. If I'm going to fight the infected wolf spider, I'll do the same. But for general resource gathering and just roaming the backyard looking for stuff, this is my setup. So that's what we got for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join the community. The link to join the Discord in the description, where we're definitely going to be getting into all the stuff that's coming out in 1.0 when that does release. Also, uh, let me know what you guys use. Are you early game, late game? Is it a similar setup? What do you guys use for food, uh, drinks, and uh, smoothies and healing options and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below. So with that being said, everybody, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always, stay original, my friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.